This is our fourth test of congruent triangles. This one is test 4 RHS for geometrical figures. Let's have a look. If we're testing for congruent triangles, we can test uh, to see if two triangles are congruent by applying one of four tests. We've seen a video on SSS, SAS I trust, and AAS. This is our fourth one, RHS. Sounds like right hand side, but no, the test states that if the hypotenuse and a second side of a right angled triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and a second side of another triangle, the triangles are congruent. Too much of a mouthful for my liking, but let's have a look at a really good example. We're asked to prove that the triangle DEF on the left is congruent to the triangle PQR. And let's have enough. Uh, let's have a look and see if we've got enough information to state that. RHS, R stands for right angle. H stands for hypotenuse and S stands for a side. So let's go and see if we can uh, name a right angle in each of these triangles. And we'll say that triangle DEF, that's the right angle named in the left hand triangle, equals triangle, sorry, angle PQR, that's the right angle named in the right hand triangle. And they're both equal to 90 degrees, which makes them right angles. And that's given to us in the question. And we'd say that that's a right angle statement or an R statement. So that's the start of our proof here. We're now going to name the hypotenuse for the H part of this test. So the hypotenuse in the left hand uh, triangle is DF. And the hypotenuse in the right hand triangle is RP or PR. And so that's a side statement. They're equal to each other. They've got the same number on them. They've both got 12 on them. So we're just listing that as a hypotenuse statement, linking the two triangles. And we're looking for another side on each of those uh, two triangles. And you can see that there's another side of 7 on each of those triangles. So we'll name that. The 7 is on the DE side of the left-hand triangle and the PQ side of the right-hand triangle. So that's another statement that's given to us, or we can list anyway, and that's a side statement. So we're just piecing together the right information at the right time. Uh, those givens are showing you that it was part of the question that was given to us, and that's how we found out that. And we can now uh, conclude, because we've got a statement for each of those items in the test, an R statement, an H statement, an S statement, that we have enough to conclude that triangle DEF is congruent to triangle PQR because it's passed the RHS uh, test there. So we've proven those triangles are congruent using the RHS test. Now just a word of warning here, a lot of people think, a lot of students think if there's a right angle in uh, each of the two triangles that we're automatically going to use the RHS test. That's not necessarily the case. Let's have a look at this example. We have a right angle in each of these triangles but we have two sides, either side of the right angles, instead of any information about the hypotenuse. So don't be fooled. Uh, some questions are trying to trick you here. This pair of triangles, for example, on the left, would pass the SAS test. It has information about two sides and the included angle instead. Uh, they try and get you to conclude that just because it's got a right angle there that we're automatically going for the RHS test. No, we can't directly um, say that this is using the RHS test if we're not given the hypotenuse. Now, I'm saying that we can't directly use the RHS test because uh, uh, students who are really on the ball here might suggest that if we had the numbers for this side and this side and this side and this side we could use Pythagoras to show that the hypotenuse are in fact equal on each of those triangles and we might be able to then use the RHS uh, proof but it would be certainly easier and quicker in this case to uh, use the SAS test instead. So we had a look at the RHS test but don't use it every time you see a right angle triangle. Think it through and see if there's another test it could pass as well. Okay, so that's the RHS test. If the hypotenuse and a second side of a right angle triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and a second side of another triangle, the triangles are congruent. All the best with that and we'll catch you next time. PeterBlakeMaths.com